Now you can see one of the working class districts of the city area called Kommila. District can be divided into three parts. Close to the mill there was the housing area for foremen. Then there was housing area for employees. Buildings like Niittylä belong to that area as well as rental barracks. In the other side of the church there were a housing area of management with broad gardens and large villas. Buildings which were to house employees were divided from 14 to 32 apartments, which were actually studios with a stove. Families were big and they might even accommodate some tenants in the studios, kids of relatives who attended to school as well as temporary workmen. In the night time the floors were full of beds or something like bed. I remember that one time some relatives came to markets and because there was a long distance from Varkaus to their home village, they stayed the night in Varkaus. We carried chairs and tables outside from the apartment for the night so that everybody got a place to sleep. We washed ourselves in the public sauna in Viltinranta, which was nearby. Toilets located in the backyard of the houses. Guess what? Boys tried to watch girls when they went to the toilet. There was a clear difference between employees and management. I remember when some guests came to visit us, we made some coffee. Yes, coffee. Before we served that to the guests, we added some salt to the bottom of the cup. In order to be polite, you pour the coffee first to the guests. I was exciting to see when the look of the guests changed when they drank coffee. We of course asked whether they would like to have an additional cup, but you might know the answer. Coffee was very expensive in those days, as you may know. Kids usually did not get any coffee, but at that time I got. After the coffee cups I had to go to the toilet. Nature, you know. On my way back I decided to dress myself to the best and I picked a flower from the bed of flowers and place it to my chest. Then I saw that. Oh gosh, what is that shining thing in the bed of flowers? It's a ring and a beautiful one. And there are even letter R, R, R. How on earth it ended up to that given bench? Well, I don't dare to guess. I got scared when I felt the presence of someone. But luckily it was the woman living next to us who had been washing clothes. And she told me, Oh, Ville, you will become a hero. I saw how you found the missing ring. Now hurry, you might have time to give it back to Charlotte tonight. Roger, off we go. Come on!